Hey, Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth Managers. How you doing today? Hope you're having a good day uh, overall. And look, most people talk basics, and occasionally we do that too on these shows. This is a FinTip series, what's what we call it, so it's really short videos. Just try to teach you something new. We're teaching advisors, but uh, we're allowed to get a little more detailed. See, we're the only advisors that actually manage our own funds and have a background in actual investing and not just picking mutual funds. So uh, let's talk about the Dow. We can get a little bit geeky. If you're one of our customers, you know I like to get geeky every now and then. And uh, also, if you're on our research site, jazzwealth.com forward slash research, if you can't be a customer, you can join our research site and participate in things just like this. This is actually a great example of what we offer on there. Uh, did you notice the Dow? Got something going on there. <laughs> so we've got the biggest change in the Dow in seven years, and I would argue even further because it's the biggest change in terms of positions, but also you got an Apple split in there as well. We're going to cover all of that here for you. Uh, you got Amgen, Salesforce, and Honeywell coming into the Dow, and you have ExxonMobil, Raytheon, and Pfizer getting the boot, right? So three stocks in, three stocks out. It's an impressive change um, it's the first change that they've done in quite a while. So we're going to actually cover all of that. Um, now, remember the Dow is also, um, it's price weighted, right? So it's not market cap weighted like the S and P price weighted just means the bigger the price, the more weight you have to throw around in the sector, or I'm sorry, in the index there. And, uh, so we've got two things to cover. And then I want to give you a little something extra on Apple. Uh, if you're one of those interested, uh, geeky sort of technical traders there. Now, if we take a look, let's go over to the charts here. Uh, we're actually going to look at a spreadsheet first. Here is the changes to the Dow. I, I basically just put it together how things are going uh, as far as the stocks coming in and going out. So we've got those to cover. Then we also went over here and we put uh, what was the weighting and what is now the weighting and what's the change there. Uh, so Apple is going because of their split. Now, not because they, you see it now, they're split, but not because of the changes to the Dow, just they decided to split. So they were weighted to 12% in the uh, Dow, and by far, they're the largest, right? So that where, where Apple goes, the Dow would go, basically. And now it's going to go from first place all the way down to the bottom half. It's only going to have almost a 3% weighting after the split. It's going to put it all the way down here by Disney and IBM and everything. It's going to move United Healthcare up to the top of the mix there. United Healthcare is now going to be the leader. But notice this, you've got Home Depot, 6%. And what? You got Salesforce down here, a new addition with a heavier weight. They're going to be duking it out for second place. Just depends on where the price lands on a given day there. So remember, we're price weighted in the Dow. The bigger the price, the more weight you have. That was an issue with Apple having 12%. That's why I said in previous videos that the Dow would probably, they probably asked Apple to do the split. It wasn't really a question of whether Apple wanted to do it there. Um, now, with all of the gains, if you think about this, uh, Apple has a 12 point, um, uh, weight or had a 12 point weighting on the index there with all of the gains this year Apple is responsible for 1450 points in the Dow just this year so what that means is now that it's going down to about halfway there um, if between now and the end of the year Apple goes bankrupt it still would have had a 2% effect on the overall performance of the Dow. Uh, so just goes to show how impressive that was with what they were doing there. Anyway side topic there I got a little sidetracked there. Uh, now that the uh, split goes into place, uh, Apple will have an 850 point, uh, about an 850 point effect on there. Now, here's what I want you to notice. You got Raytheon, uh, that was only a one per, uh, about 1.5% 1 .1 weight, Exxon about 1%, Pfizer about 1%. We're losing those, and what's the Dow doing? They're throwing in bigger, higher price stocks here. Salesforce, 6%, 5%, just because they're $250 stock for Amgen. Honeywell, 165 So they're adding in this sort of beef uh, and taking out some of the, uh, you know, the quiet sort of underperformers that have fallen apart. If you go by that theory, then th uh, technically you've got a reason to believe that some of these stocks may be on the chopping block as well. Uh, for the Dow. So that's the first thing I wanted to cover. The second thing I wanted to do is actually show you that change and go through some things here because we did that as well. Here's the change by sector. You know how we do the sector breakdown on the closing beat every day. This is a sector breakdown for the Dow. So what's happening here is healthcare is getting 4.4 total extra points after uh, Pfizer comes out and Amgen goes in. You've got industrials gaining almost two points there. You got technology losing three points again because of the Apple split there is one of the reasons, uh, it's the big reason. And so now you have a new change here in the Dow. This is what each sector has gained or lost. Now I think, yeah, let me just take this here for you, make this nice and big, because I know that's probably annoyingly small down there. Uh, if we go here, 
You got healthcare was at 14 po uh, points in terms of waiting. They're now up to 18. So healthcare is taking second place now in terms of the um, uh, largest sector in there. They're gaining 4.3 point, 4.4 points essentially. Uh, what I want you to notice there is technology. Technology loses three points. They're still a quarter of the Dow, right? You get Salesforce.com, of course, is going to be one of the reasons for that. Um, so very interesting there. Uh, with the healthcare, it's like I said, the Fi Pfizer and Amgen thing there. Technology is still one quarter there, and here's the rest of the changes, minimal changes across all the other sectors there. Uh, so that's what you've got going on there. Um, changes to the Dow, man, it doesn't happen all the time. We don't actually have another video where we talked about, you know, the Dow making changes there because it's not something you often see uh, overall. For the Dow. Uh, here's one extra thing I want to add for you now. Get out of your way just for fun. Just having fun sharing stuff here with you today. Uh, you like Apple? You like uh, the idea of buying some Apple there? I want to bring something to your attention. I can't tell you what to do in terms of buy the stock, sell the stock, but technical traders are looking at one thing in particular, and I'm actually going to give you two since you're still sticking around watching me here. Here we go. What I got on the chart is a ratio of the price uh, as it relates to the 50 day simple moving average for Apple, meaning the higher this chart goes, the further extended the stock is from its 50-day moving average, currently sitting at 22%, 21% away from its 50-day moving average. What we want to do, oh, that's going to be my bad. I do that all the time, man. Forgot to turn that off. Um, what I want to do is compare that to history. So in other words, Apple right now is 21% away from its 50-day moving average. Is that normal? And so to track that, what we do is we actually put this little ratio together where we could see that spread over time. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking back 10 years. You can see down here at the bottom, we go all the way over to 2010. How many times is Apple 21% away from its 50-day moving average? One other time, right? What happened to the price of the stock after that? It fell almost 20%, right? So I'm not saying the price of the stock's gonna fall. I'm just saying we're in a land that is not normal for this price of uh, currently for the stock. Could it go higher and set a record? Of course, anything's possible there, but this is just comparing what's currently happening to history. If we take it a step further and we say, uh, you go, well, I'm an investor, man. I, I like to look at uh, something a little more long-term. Well, then what you do is compare the price to the 200-day moving average. That's a longer-term moving average. So we are 54, 55% away from the 200-day uh, moving averages. Uh, just the one, <laughs> I don't know why I said S. Anyways, is that normal? Now you know, you can look back and say, well, over the last 10 years, it's not normal. Let's go back as far as we can, right? Actually, Apple has been more extended. So over the last 10 years, it's very rare for the stock to be that high. If you start looking back over the entire lifespan of the stock uh, price of Apple, it does like to get extended from time to time, but what happens afterwards? it pulls back. Stocks do not like to stay extended from their moving averages for very long. That's just a fun way to show it. I don't know if that matters to you or means anything to you, but um, hey, little geeky today, right? Taking a look at some different things there outside of your normal uh, retirement advice. I hope it helped in some way. Let me know if this type of video is interesting to you. Again, as financial advisors that we hope you check out our website and maybe join us or transfer your accounts and all that great stuff. But as financial advisors, we're able to teach that extra level of stock market type um, uh, knowledge and, and news and events and things because uh, we have the background, right? Every other financial advisor, we've tried to hire some and every other financial advisor just they're just good at selling stuff. And I, I, don't, I wanna talk about this. Let me know what you think. Have a great rest of your day and uh, enjoy.